during this Technical Insights and Expertise Series video, I will demonstrate the capability of customizing the SAS Quality Knowledge Base. The SAS Quality Knowledge Base, commonly referred to as the QKB, is a set of files containing proprietary rules, expressions, and reference data that are combined to analyze and transform text data in various SAS products, such as SAS Data Integration Studio, Dataflux Data Management Studio, SAS Event Stream Processing, and SAS Data Preparation. Typically, a client licenses one locale or multiple locales from the QKB for contact information, which has out-of-the-box definitions for items such as name, organization, address, and phone. A locale is a language country combination. For example, English United States, English Australia, or Spanish Spain. Many people are unaware that they can customize the existing QKB definitions as well as create their own definitions in order to perform custom data quality logic for operations such as parsing or matching rules. The QKB is customized in the Data Management Studio application. Once the customizations have been made and thoroughly tested, then those customized definitions can be used in any of the SAS products that reference the QKB for data quality operations. In order to customize definitions in the SAS Quality Knowledge Base, you must have the appropriate licensing for the Data Management Studio product. It is also highly recommended that you attend training on customizing the QKB prior to attempting to edit one of the out-of-the-box definitions or creating one of your own. Let's take a look at the behind the scenes of customizing the SAS Quality Knowledge Base. Customizing the QKB should be treated like any development project and you should have development, test, and production environments. A quality knowledge base is accessible for editing on the administration riser bar in Data Management Studio. For this demo, I will open my current development QKB instance where I have created custom definitions for clothing information. Notice that the definitions can be at one of three levels. Global, represented by a globe. Language, represented by a talking bubble and country, represented by a flag. The reason for this is a definition for an email address is global, since email addresses are a global standard, whereas a definition to standardize an organization would be at a language level, since that is more dependent on language, and a definition to standardize an address would be at a country level, since how you would standardize an address for English United States and English United Kingdom would be different. The definition types you can build are case. Case definitions are used for casing text strings in upper, lower, or proper case. Extraction. Extraction definitions are used to extract relevant tokens from a text string. Gender analysis. This definition is used to make a best guess of the gender based on supplied name information. Identification analysis. Identification analysis definitions are used to make a best guess of what type of data a supplied text string is. Language guess. This definition is used to make a best guess at what language a supplied text string is. Locale guess. This definition is used to make a best guess of what locale language country combination a text string is. Match. Match definitions generate a match code to facilitate the fuzzy matching of data. Parse. Parse definitions break down text string into tokens. Pattern analysis. This definition identifies the pattern of the text string. Standardization. Standardization definitions are used to transform data into a standard format. The QKB definitions are based on data types. Data types serve as a container or grouping for metadata used to define a data quality definition. For example, the name data type consists of the tokens prefix, given name, middle name, family name, suffix, 
and title slash additional info. For my clothing definitions, I created a clothing data type with the tokens department, item, color, and size. Definitions are comprised of many components. Schemes for standardizing data, chop tables for chopping phrases into words, phonetic libraries to aid in fuzzy matching based on phonetic sounds, regex libraries based on Perl regular expressions, vocabularies containing a collection of words for categorization purposes, and grammars containing patterns of word categorizations. Through the use of the various components, such as regular expressions, vocabularies, and grammars, I am able to build a definition to parse my clothing data into its tokens. As you can see, large men's blue sweater and men's blue sweater LRG achieve the same parse results. When creating your own definitions or customizing existing ones, you can step through the definition at the various stages to aid in your testing and design. I can also build definitions to standardize data. My clothing standardize definition is based on the clothing parse definition we just looked at. Notice that LRG has been standardized to large. I can also build definitions to generate match codes to facilitate the fuzzy matching of data. Even though these two clothing phrases have their tokens in a different order, use different casings and abbreviations, they still generate the same match code based on the definition I designed. Once a definition has been built and tested in development, it can be promoted to test and then to production so it can be used by any of the SAS applications that use the SAS Quality Knowledge Base for its data quality operations. The main takeaway from this video is that the SAS Quality Knowledge Base definitions can be customized to suit your project's data quality needs. Refer to the link for more information on the training course for customizing the SAS Quality Knowledge Base. For more information on the SAS Quality Knowledge Base and SAS Data Quality in general, please refer to the SAS Data Management page on support.sas.com and the Data Management Community site. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned to the SAS Technical Insights and Expertise series for more videos showcasing SAS products and functionality.